this is the financial accounting paper of the previous sitting on which was done on 22nd April 2024 uh, was tested by CASNEP for those who are doing CPA foundational level and CIFA foundational level. The first question was a, theoret a theoretical question where part A required to explain the following accounting principles. We have economic entity principle and matching principle. B. Citing relevant examples, describe the following terms, financial asset and financial liabilities. C. Explain the following types of accounting errors, uh, error of complete reverse of entry, transposition error, and error of commission. And then part D. Highlight four benefits of public sector accounting. So I have prepared all the answers to uh, this paper which I'm going to present in this video. So can you subscribe to see more videos where we'll be revising some of this question and we'll also start uh, doing the financial reporting. So question two, it was a partnership question on Melody and Olivia. So what were you required to do in this question? You were required to do a partnership statement of profit or loss and appropriation account for the year ended that first December 2023 and partner's current account as at the first December 2023 and part C, a statement of initial position as at that first December 2023. Then we have the question three, which was testing on manufacturing accounts. So the question required in part A, manufacturing statement of for the year ended that first March 2024. B, statement of profit or loss for the year ended that first March 2024. And C, statement of financial position as at that first March 2024. Then question four, uh, have given the financial statement of HMK Limited as at that first December 2023 and 2022. So this question required a statement of cash flow in accordance with International Accounting Standard IAS7 statement of cash flows. Then question five, part A, discuss five reasons why companies do not distribute all their profit to shareholders. And then part B, they required a subscription account for the year and then that first month of 24 and receipt and payments account for the year and then that first March 2024. So the answers that I've presented for this question, uh, we have the, the answers for question one, part A. And then we have answers for part B and then part C we also have answers and then part D benefit of public sector accounting and then question two this is a statement of profit or loss and appropriation account for the year end that first December 2023 for Merode and Olivia. So you have the statement of profit and loss up to this point. Then from this point, we have the appropriation. And then we have the workings for that question. So these are the workings. workings, working six, working seven, and we have part B, the partner's current account as at that first December 2023. This is the partner's current account. And then part C, statement of financial position as at that first December 2023. So this is the statement of financial position
if you have any question in regard to this paper you can ask in the comment section then we have question three uh, the manufacturing account of Quasar Limited. Then we have the workings for that question. And then we have the statement of profit and loss for, for Quasar Limited uh, uh, for the year added that first March 2024. And finally, for that question, we have the statement of financial position as at that first March 2024. We have non current asset, current asset, capital liabilities, and then current liability. Then we go to the next question, which is question four. Uh, here you have the statement of cash flow. And starts with cash flow from operating activities. Then we go to changes in the working capital, cash flow from investing activities. Then we go to cash flow from financing activities. And finally, we have cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year. So we have the workings for that question. Working one, where we are going to direct to. Um, derive profit from the information given to derive profit before tax because we are not given that question then you have workings workings and finally we have question five uh, reason why companies do not distribute profit of course the first reason is to reinvest uh, those profit in the business we have debt is restriction uh, when well, they don't make enough profit for acquisition to meet an expected cost and when it is a policy not to distribute all their profit to the shareholders and then part b if they require a subscription account here we have the subscription account and roman 2 of that part b we have the seat and payments account so those are the answers to that paper please subscribe and we are going to discuss some of this question in the videos to come thank you very much thank you thank you very much so this is it for financial accounting papers and uh, until when another financial accounting paper uh, tested by Kassendeb will be done